A week from today, a new agency will oversee public health services across South Carolina. Starting next Monday, July 1st, DHEC, the Department of Health and Environmental Control, will cease to exist. It'll be replaced by two new state agencies. State House reporter Mary Green joins us to explain what this will mean for you and what you should know. Last year, Governor Henry McMaster signed a bill into law that splits DHEC into two new state agencies, one over public health and the other over environmental services. That'll take effect next Monday, July 1st. We're convinced we can and we will make South Carolina the healthiest state in the nation. Dr. Edward Simmer, the current director of DHEC and interim director of the new Department of Public Health, believes they have an opportunity to do that under this reorganization. We are about 45th in terms of overall health out of the 50 states, and that's that's dreadful. We need to do much better than that. Simmer says for services like obtaining birth certificates and requesting immunizations, the process will essentially be the same as it has been. He says phone numbers will remain the same and people who try to go to DHEC's website will automatically be forwarded to the new DPH website, which will launch next Monday. For people who use our health departments and are receiving services from our health departments, you will continue to get the same service in the same location and from the same people that you've grown to trust and know that will not change. But Simmer says the creation of this new agency gives them an opportunity to evaluate from the top down how they're operating and serving South Carolinians and how to improve it. Simmer says that includes putting more resources into outreach and engagement efforts. That's what's so critical is making sure that whatever we do is focused on each individual community meets that community's needs because we know that what's needed in rural Bamberg County may be different than the Charleston Peninsula and may be different than what's needed in Cherokee County. And we need to tailor solutions to each of those places, and we need to let the communities determine what those solutions should be. And we could still see further realignment of state agencies in the future. A bill to merge six agencies into one just fell short of reaching the governor's desk this year. But supporters have pledged to renew their push again next year. Reporting from the State House, I'm Mary Green.